Next up is heat set design. Uh, so what is a heat set? A heat set is a little brass uh, piece of hardware that you can actually melt down into your part. Um, so you can see, for example, on your screen here, uh, these are all heat sets that are melted into this block. Uh, these are heat sets that are uh, actually in the bottom of a, a nest. Um, so that is what a heat set is. Um, super handy, allows you to put a metal thread into a plastic part. So if, you're, if you have something that you're putting together and taking apart quite a bit, um, those plastic uh, threads can wear out if you're using steel fasteners um, over time. So by putting a heat set in, you get much longer thread life. Um, and they are a little bit stronger, but um, it's, it's, not, it's not a lot. Uh, if you're going for strength, um, even printing in threads is generally on par with where a heat set comes in at. So um, <clears throat> common 3D printable materials that can have heat sets installed into them are things like PLA, ABS, polycarbonate, nylon, polypro, and there's lots of other ones too. Just Google around and you'll be able to find out if your material is uh, compatible with heat sets. Um, we've done a lot of experimentation to figure out how to design pockets uh, for the heat sets that allow a really solid connection between the heat set and the part, um, but also doesn't have a lot of excessive plastic squishing up or below the heat set. So when you melt that heat set into your part, plastic tends to want to, to come up around the insert. And that can be a problem if you're bolting two things together, that can cause interference. Cosmetically, it doesn't look great. So the, the research we've done is in how to minimize that. Um, you'll notice that on this slide, uh, that first bullet point is a hyperlink. Um, if you get this slide deck from me uh, af after the presentation is over, we'll talk about that at the end. Um, that's clickable. That'll take you to a guide on our website. That's where I stole this picture from. And we've got a whole guide on how to size these depending on what size heat set you want to use. Um, some other things to keep in mind when you're using heat sets. So remember, I said how plastic can you know, come, you know, kind of mush and ball below the heat set insert. It's always best to install a heat set in a through hole if possible, kind of like in this nest right here. Because then if you do have plastic that comes underneath your heat set, if you try and run a fastener that goes through your heat set and you need that space below it for your fastener to, to sit in, well, if there's plastic in the way, that's not going to work. If you have a through hole, you can actually get in with a drill bit and clean out the backside of that heat set to allow you to thread all the way through it. Um, if, you, uh, if you can't do a through hole, you have to use a blind hole. Just be aware that you may end up getting screwed and, and not being able to run that fastener all the way through. So design accordingly. Um, <clears throat> but you know, also, if you can go two to three times deep, deeper than, than what your, uh, your heat set insert is in, in height, um, that can help sometimes give more room for that plastic to flow further down so you can run a fastener down inside of there. Again, uh, check out our website. We've got a whole guide on how to size this stuff. Uh, highly recommend it to anyone who wants to learn more about this. Okay, well, that is my presentation. Uh, I appreciate your time and sticking with me here to the end. Um, we covered a lot of ground today, um, you know, definitely hit me up and I'd be happy to share this slide deck with you. Um, again, Paul DeWise, and uh, you can see on the screen here is my email address. So, you know, shoot me an email or uh, I'm extremely active on LinkedIn as well. So please uh, reach out and uh, connect with me on LinkedIn and, you know, slide into my DMs. I'd be happy to send you the, the slide deck that way as well. Um, you know, also I'm, I'm always happy to answer questions or give feedback on design. So, you know, if you're working on something and, uh, it's going to be 3d printed and you're looking for someone to be a second set of eyes, you know, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I do a lot of that. Um, <clears throat> and also one last shameless plug, check out our website, uh, forerunner3d.com. Um, it's got a ton of great information. We do a lot of testing and a lot of R and D and we publish everything to our website. So there's great design guides for all the technologies we talked about today um, with a lot of content that you're just not going to find anywhere else. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much for your time and attention and uh, look forward to hopefully hearing from you.